This potato is ugly, but today we're gonna make it sexy because we're gonna ask seven different professional chefs how they would turn a boring potato like this into a fancy masterpiece that they serve at their restaurants. We're not making your usual french fries or mashed potatoes. We're making potato dishes that they serve at Michelin level restaurants like a palm souffle, ali goat, potato terrine, and some other fancy potato dishes. Let's start with one of the more simpler ways, level one. All right guys, love Makoto. About to see how Chef Makoto turns a potato fancy. Chef Makoto, how are you gonna turn a potato like this into something delicious and gourmet looking? I like to make mochi potato, one of our signature here. So you're gonna show us how to make a fancy mochi potato? Yes. First step, I think we're gonna roast this potato in the oven, 220 degrees for 40 minutes. Now it should be ready. Achi! Cut it and we scoop this out. We kind of dehydrate it on purpose. We want potato to be concentrated the flavor. That's kind of important for our process. Okay, all the potatoes are out of shell. Okay. We're gonna mash it in this little food meal. This is extra, right? <laughs> So we're gonna measure potato and we're gonna add potato starch. Oh, look! You got it right at 400, yo. <laughs> Katakuriko into this potato. Cold water, salt, sugar, and we're gonna kneel this. So we wanted to create this like mochi texture. So how to tell by the camera, but it's quite sticky. We're gonna need the last thing screech for 30 minutes. Nice and safe. All right, chef. It's ready to go. We're gonna portion this. Little hole there. Right, before we branch it, we're going to add a little salt to the water. Okay. So we're going to make a truffle sauce. This is actually burgundy truffle. What's the point of putting truffle in rice like that? Moisture, so truffle get mold and stuff like that. <laughs> See, potatoes coming up. So we're going to rest this just a bit. And then we're going to work on the sauce. A little bit of olive oil. A little bit of garlic. A little bit of shallots. Truffle that we just peeled it. A little bit of salt. Oh, we're going to start sweating. Like this. So now we're gonna degraze with a little bit of white wine. Add truffle paste. Cool down a little bit. That's the finish. And now we're gonna make wagyu tartare. How much does this little strip cost? Very expensive. You like this? <laughs> Just to chop it up. Make sure you remove those super skin. So we're not chopping it, we're gonna just dice it up. Uh oh. Oh! $100. Three second rule. <laughs> Shiso, my favorite herb in the world. Finely chopped. A little bit of shallots, a little bit of chai, house wow. tartar salt. A lot of things going on. We'll mix it, a little bit of pepper, a little bit of salt, taste it. Mm. I like the crispy exterior and inside the mochi and nice and chewy. Okay, so you're gonna deep fry this? Yep. Look, nice and crispy. Wow. See that mochi, it looks like a mochi dish. <laughs> and we're gonna seasoning with the salt. Ready for plating. Truffle sauce, we're gonna hide. Why do you talk on top? Shiso flour. Oh. Super addicted. Japanese slicer. What are you slicing, Kev? Truffle. What? Truffle on top? This is our version of meat and potato. Deep fried potato mochi with some A5 Wagyu tartare. Let's go, let's dig in. This is amazing. Really Dark crunch, no chewiness inside. Hey, it's not boring because the sauce comes out, right? You turn up potato fancy, thank you. All right guys, before we head into this next potato dish, do you ever feel like a potato? Feeling unworthy, unmotivated, and maybe even anxious? If you do, you're not alone. That's why today's video is sponsored by BetterHelp. In 2023, as my channels grew, so did my responsibilities. And with more responsibilities, sometimes you feel a little bit overwhelmed. Over 4 million people are benefiting from better help to live a healthier and happier life. So in 2024, I'm gonna make it my goal to manage my stress with therapy from BetterHelp. A therapist can teach various coping strategies to deal with stress, such as relaxation techniques, time management skills, or assertiveness training. BetterHelp is a platform that makes therapy convenient and less intimidating with sessions offered as a phone call, messaging, or as a video chat. You could be matched with one of over 30,000 therapists based on your needs and preferences. All you have to do is fill out a questionnaire and in most cases, you'll be matched with a therapist within 48 hours. Join them by clicking the link in the description or visit betterhelp.com slash Danny Kim. By using this link, you'll get 10% off the first month of your subscription. Yes. Thanks again, BetterHelp. 
let's get back to the video. Today, we have another potato with Chef Will. We're gonna make a dragon phoenix dish with uh, edible birds. All right, let's do it. First step, we are going to hand peel these potatoes, Hatsuramuki style. So you're trying to unwind the whole potato just like that? Yeah. Dang, there's some serious knife skills. <laughs> this is actually not that great. Your old teacher would be very ashamed right now. <laughs> Fun tip, if you're ever applying to work at a Japanese restaurant, this will be one of the practical tests you will do in an interview. What? What's the criteria? You want to be able to see through the blade, even with the smooth ridges. You can definitely just use like a mandolin for this. Bruh. Okay, so oh. one potato unwind just yep. like that. Now we're going to cut in thin strips. Essentially, we're making hash brown. Oh, not for that. We're going to soak it in water to get some of the starch out. Just rinse it in cold water. Let this sit for a little bit. Pat these down very, very dry. And while you're patting that dry, make sure your oil is going nice and hot. So you're going to need two strainers, hopefully identical strainers. And we're looking for a good color, the GBD, golden brown delicious. <laughs> like once you see the bubbles ease up a little bit. That means all the moisture's out? Yep, we'll get all the excess oil out. What? There's a tiny bit of salt right after it comes out of the fryer. Start working on the filling now. We're gonna blister these uh, shishito peppers. Um, if you don't want them to pop, just make a little bit of a Hold. decision, yeah. Right. Just a touch of salt. A little ginger scallion oil, shrimp, chicken, mushroom. What's happening here, Chef? The same technique as we were using before, except we're going to do it with a carrot this time. So we have five sides. Ooh, okay. Now we're going to make small little incisions in each side. You're going to start from the edge and cut to the corner here. You can do it all five sides. And again, you want one smooth cut. You don't want to go like this. You want one smooth motion. Hmm. And then you're going to flip this side and do the same thing. You can definitely just buy a stamp and just stamp <laughs> the shape. Round out any corners that you see. Piece here. I'm not done yet. Make a little incision in the middle, towards the middle. You want to give it a little texture, a little 3D texture. Here. So after that, each petal, you're going to cut this way a little bit. Just cut a tiny piece off. You can do the same thing on the other side. So now we have a little garnish. Whoa. Next chicken stock. While that's heating up, we're going to make a slurry. Just equal parts cornstarch and water. Stir it as we go. Wow. And now it's time to plate. All right guys, you guys see it. A little boring potato turned into a beautiful bird's nest. Let's dig in. Ooh, yeah. Let's go. Wow. This is a hundred times better than the hash brown. Thank you, chef. 10 oh. out of 10. Straight from Hong Kong, baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right guys, today we're with Chef Yipe. Let's yeah. see how he turns a potato fancy. I'm gonna make the Hasselback potato. What's the first step, chef? Two spoons. You take the potato. Uh, the reason why you put it between the two little sticks is so that you don't go all the way down to the bottom because you want to make it an accordion, right? So you can see all the accordions already showing. Then I'm going to just put them in here. Next step, do a little bit of olive oil over these little guys. And I have over here Montreal steak seasoning. So I'm going to put them in the oven an hour and 15 minutes. It's going to be very hot. Look at that. Next step, a bit of pesto pepper sauce, Hasselback potato, a local goat cheese, a little bit of fresh parsley, garlic, and lemon. Sorry. Isn't that a beautiful dish? Let's dig in. Mm. The cheese brings a lot of creaminess, and it's crunchy and soft on the inside. Thank you, Chef. I'm here to make your potatoes fancy. We're gonna turn this little guy into a cheesy potato masterpiece called Alley Goat. First step, we gotta peel the potatoes. I'm not a patient human, so I'm gonna cut these. You can leave them whole. Fill this up with some cold water, and get a big pinch of salt in there. So here we have Raclette, Jarlsberg, and Emmentaler. So I'm gonna grate these by hand for you because I love you so much. See, look at how soft that is. Next step, we gotta flavor those potatoes somehow and give them a little bit of liquid to get them spinning. This is a pound of butter. One pound of butter. Yes, sir. My goal, Danny, is to use more butter than what? any other chef you ever have on. That's what the people want. Right. Big pinch of salt. All this time, put all of that in there. The milk. Looking heavy cream. This is gonna go onto the heat. These potatoes are about ready to pull off. Potato face show. <laughs> I'm gonna dump these out onto a sheet tray real quick so they dry out for me. These have been drying out for 30, 40 minutes. Add in your potatoes. So it's mashing the potato. Just in case you're wondering what all this hard work is for. It's for that. Wow. Oh, perfect time. Give this a little mix. I'm gonna take some of this. Here's my cheese. Wow. Ali goat. Ali goat. These are all those potato peels that we did earlier. Into a fryer. Good. All right, onto some paper towels. Big healthy pinch of salt, chives. 
truffle aioli on the side. What we've all been waiting for. <laughs> wow. Look at that. Can't pull bed sheets that clean, Danny. Wow. You got fried potato peels, truffle aioli, pull my legal. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Holy crap. Potato skins that would have gone in the trash. Truffle aioli. I'll take that home, chef. <laughs> potato fancy. Thank you, chef. Yeah. 10 out of 10. All right, guys, we're with Chef Elias here at Doro Soul Food. We have a potato chef. How can you make this fancy for us? Uh, we're going to make a bomb souffle, traditional way. Traditional way, okay. Let's do it. Let's turn your potato fancy. The first step we slice at three millimeters. With, this is a French mandolin. Go ahead. And then once I slice them, I lay them on my cutting board by two, so you know it's easier to punch. Then I have my ring molds. I have two sizes. Push it a little bit down so I get a more oval shape. The bigger ones I do on this. Now that we have our sliced potatoes at three millimeters, all right, so we do two pots, all right? One of them has to be around 300 degrees, and then your second one where you dump it in to pop up at 350. So what I'm gonna do is drop them individually. If you drop them all together, they're gonna stick. Now we work the starch. See, I start getting a little bubble here. So now when I get to this point, I'll take them out and dump them in the hot one. Then you take these up. Wow. I'm gonna put it in a bowl, Use it right away. We're gonna plate it with a to-go container. OG palm souffle, the Chef Elias way. Oh! Thank you. Right. Okay, we're with Chef Khan today. We're gonna ask him to turn this potato fancy. Chef, you ready? Oh, of course, always ready, man. All right, let's do it. Chef, what are we making today? We're gonna make fancy tater tots. I'm gonna start by peeling. These are rustic potatoes. So we're actually gonna stuff a tater tot with lobster. We're gonna serve it with black truffle. I've never done this before, so. I'm gonna cut them up so they cook faster. In the pot, a little water. So I'm gonna add salt to this. I need to strain the potatoes and I need to pass them. Do everything while they're hot. We're gonna make that interior part that we're gonna actually fold into the mashed potato. Don't worry, bro. We won't peel you today. <laughs> I'm just going to try to make nice, even, thin cuts. We're going to start the same way with cold water because you want to cook the potato from the inside to the outside. Any advice for the young chefs out there? Get as much diverse experience as you possibly can. It's like life. You can't really find yourself until you've learned a little bit of everything. And take your time. You don't need to be a chef at 20. Just strain these potatoes. We'll put them on a tray. We're going to add milk and butter to this. I'm going to use agar agar. We put this on the heat. I'm going to add the agar agar now. Thicken this whole mixture up. Too much to add to this. We're going to do a little bit at a time. There should be no lumps. Also cook a little bit of shallot. Season. So I'm going to add the potatoes I diced back to this. Some butter. I'm going to add our potatoes a little bit at a time. Now, there's a pastry bag. Start by putting a layer of potato down. This is a lobster mousse that we make. So I'm going to put it right in the center. Nice little pipeline, 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 stop. So now I want to roll the potato around like so. And then I just keep rolling. It's twist, twist. And now we're going to put it in the freezer so that we can set it. So traditionally, I feel like tater tots are served with ketchup. So we're going to make a sauce that's a little bit more appropriate. So for me, we're going to do something with a little bit of black truffle. This is a little creme fraiche. I'm going to cut a little bit of chives. We have our chive, truffle, and we'll mix this up. Season a little. It's good looking sauce right there, chef. We're not playing around today. This is just classic egg wash. My secret ingredient, instant mashed potatoes Whoa. or potato flakes. Uh, and then we're gonna actually use potato starch. So we're gonna make our tater tot shapes. Potato. <laughs> right into potato starch. Toss them around. Wash all the way around. Let's go fry these puppies. And we're ready to go. Feeling very confident. Wow. You're at it. A little salt, get these plated. Truffle creme fraiche that we made earlier. Chop a little trout roe. Ooh. A little bit of that chive action. Wow. So we turn this potato into not so redneck tater tots. All right, well, let's take it. <laughs> wow. 
lobster stuffed tater tot. This got to be the most expensive tater tots you ever had. I mean, I <laughs> going to a supermarket soon. This is uh, the fanciest tater tot I've ever had, man. Jeff, thank you. Yeah, man. 11 out of 10. All right, guys, you guys see it. Today, we have another potato. We're going to turn fancy with Chef Loig, baby. The one and only. We're about to make the best potato terrine ever made. I learned this working at a Michelin star restaurant in California. All right, let's go. First step, we're going to make garlic infused butter. So I have some garlic here. That's going to go in my pot. We have some butter in there. Turn that on. We're gonna add some peppercorn in there as well. I'm gonna infuse time in there. Now we have to shave our potatoes. So we shaved our potatoes to get like a nice oval like shape to it. Vegetable sheet slicer. Poke that in there. Whoa, what the heck? Dude? We probably got like 100 layers right now. Last one. That's it. So now we're gonna slice into the proper length. Same length as our pan. Perfect right there. We're gonna cut all our potatoes this length. So how many layers is supposed to go into a potato terrine? Thousand layers. What? Okay, we're getting there. So now we're gonna brush our pan with some of our butter first. So we start with our first layer of potato here. Lay the other guy go to the end. And then we're gonna brush that with a little bit of butter, sprinkle a tad bit of salt, and go on. So literally you gotta do layer, layer, butter, salt, layer, layer, butter, salt. Mm -hmm. Final layers going in. And that was the final layer. So now we're gonna boil and wrap this and bake it at 375 for 30 minutes. So now we wanna go ahead and bake for another 30 minutes without foil. Let's go ahead and take a look at our terrine. All the layers. Wow. So now we gotta press it. We're gonna add a break on top of that. Now we're gonna pop this in the fridge. So we'll be back in six hours. All right, let's see. Ooh. We're gonna torch our terrine out of this open tube. Whoa. <laughs> she. You can see the layers. Let's portion it and we'll, we'll sear them off. Now it's time to sear. So we're gonna go ahead and add some more of our infused butter from earlier. Oh, you see the layers start to pop out? Oh yeah, look at that. Yo! This is a potato, huh? So now we're gonna base. And I'm gonna add some garlic time. Oh. Wow. Now it's time to plate. All right. All right, Danny. I just made you a potato to best version of itself. Stay in, man. This is nine hours of work eating in one bite. <laughs> That's amazing, chef. Wow. That's the perfect terrine I've ever made. Another way to turn your potato fancy, Danny Kim and Chef Loic. We're checking out, baby. Peace. Peace.